Hi guys, so on this video right here, we'll be discussing density and the concept of proportionality. So first, let's define what the proportionalities mean. Proportionality basically refers to a linear relationship between variable, so that when one variable increases, the other increases as well at the same rate. For an example, let's consider this following experiment between the mass and the volume of oil. So when we take different volume of oil and we measure its mass, for example, 5.2 milliliter of oil would weigh 4.64 gram. And now as we increase the volume by keeping it, adding more oil in, and further measure its mass, then we can see that as we increase the volume of the oil, its mass would also be increasing as well. So here in this case right here, volume and the mass of the oil are proportional to each other. And we can also see this linear relationship as well by looking at this graph. By plotting each of these data points between the mass and the volume, we can then see that as the volume go up, the mass would also go up as well, linearly. So therefore, in this case right here, we can now con can conclude that the mass and the volume of this oil right here is directly proportional. And so whenever we have things, two variables, that are directly proportional with each other, we can further describe that and by writing or calculating something that we call the proportionality constant. And in this case right here, the proportionality constant of uh, that show the relationship between the mass and the volume of oil is 0 0.8931 gram per milliliter. So what, how we obtain this value as follows. For each of this data try right here, we can take the mass and divide it by the volume. In this case, this value divided by this value equal to 0.89. And similarly, by taking each of this mass divided by each of this volume, this are the value that we have obtained from this different trials right here. And when we average all of this together, this equal to 0.8931. And our unit is gram per milliliter because we've taken the mass in gram divided by the volume in milliliter. So therefore, a unit is gram per milliliter. So this value right here is the value that describes the relationship between the mass and the volume of oil. So therefore, we call this the proportionality constant. And this proportionality constant right here is given a name, and that is called the density. So the density of a substance is basically a proportionality constant that describes the linear relationship between the mass to the volume of a substance. So here is the official definition of what density is. It is the proportion, not the constant, that show the relationship between the mass and the volume of a substance. So density, how we can calculate the density is by taking the mass of a substance divided by the volume of a substance. So if we were to ever ask you directly what is the density of a substance, you can simply take the mass divided by its volume. And now in this case right here, we see that this is a fraction, right? Meaning the mass is then equal to its volume. And it is related. It would only be equal by that constant that we mentioned earlier. So here in this case right here, one milliliter of oil is then equal to point. 8931 gram of oil. And this is only true for this oil right here, so make sure we also put in the substance as well. Okay, but what's very important that we need to remember in this case is that density is basically a conversion factor between the volume of a substance to the mass of a substance. And that's something that we need to remember. Okay, volume is related to mass by the density value and it is a conversion factor between mass to volume or volume to mass vice versa mm -hmm. and different substances have diff different density to show the relationship between the mass to the volume for an example down here are the density of different substances so in this case right here we can see water at the density of one gram per cubic centimeter and a cubic centimeter is basically equal to a milliliter so we can say gram per cubic centimeter or gram per milliliter. 
And now it's very important that we know how to use the density as conversion factor. For example, for water, the density 1.0 gram per milliliter. And as conversion factor, it means the following 1.0 gram of water over 1 milliliter of water, or vice versa, the reciprocal of it. And another example, gold. The density of gold is 19.3 gram per milliliter. You can see 19.3 gram per milliliter. And from here, we can also write a conversion factor where we have 13 point. 19.3 gram of gold over 1 milliliter of gold. But it is e, 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 a conversion factor between the volume of gold to the mass of gold. Okay, so to convert anytime we give you the mass of a substance and we want you to convert to the volume of the substance, you need to know its density so you can use it as a conversion factor for that. Let's now try a few of these examples right here. How to solve density problem using dimensional analysis. And again, because density is a conversion factor, so therefore we can apply that and use problem and, and use dimensional analysis for it. So let's now try this problem example number 36 right here, which is the following. They say what is the volume of 19.6 gram of a liquid? that has a density of 0.967 gram per milliliter. So in this case right here, you are given a mass of a liquid, right? And it weight this much. And we ask it, what volume would that be in liter? So in this case, when we apply dimensional analysis, the starting unit here in this case right here would then be the mass of the substance, 19.6 gram of whatever liquid this would be. And now, the wanted unit, in this case right here, is the volume in liter. Okay? And so the conversion factor needed in order to do this is something that relates gram, mass, right? Gram is a unit of mass. And now, liter is a unit of volume. So we have to have a conversion factor that, that relates mass to volume of a substance. So something that relates mass to volume. And that something right there would then be the density. So the density is the answer. And the density of this substance right here, it is 0 0.967 gram of it equal to one milliliter of it. Okay, so then 0.967 go with the gram and the one go with the milliliter. So that's how we can use the density as the conversion factor. And in this case right here, to finally solve this, we would be starting from 19.6 gram of this liquid. And now we will then see that 0.967 gram of this liquid. And again, make sure you are very clear that the 0.967 go with the gram because this is oftentimes a mistake that we have seen. Okay, and now one milliliter of the liquid would go on top. And now we have to convert this into liter, right? So a thousand milliliter equal to one liter. So in this case right here, this would then equal to 0 0.0203 liter of the liquid. And we'll be rounding this to three significant figures. Now problem number 37 would be a very good problem to practice because this seems like a future exam types of question. So please work on it. And so I'm just going to give you the answer so you can confirm your work. But $17. So see if you would be able to obtain that answer right there.